success of this operation will lead us to victory. The intercept of the pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the dimensional wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corral's great army, or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the dimensional wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers, we're at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha? Got a question about the operation? As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the Guide. I should never have become Commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the Descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now, and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be, as you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command. We must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Descendants, we are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an Ironheart which is linked to a Prime Hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain. As if my skin was peeling, and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a Prime Hands in order to collapse the Dimensional Wall. We must stop this, before the Dimensional Wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted Iron Heart. If we fail to do so, even if the Ironheart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Ironheart, the destruction of the Dimensional Wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. 
I will deliver the mission to detach the Iron Heart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guide, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Eamon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Eamon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber. Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think? If all modules were the same, I'd be out of a job, right? <laughs> This is Jaber. I have clear reception. Mind if we skip the pleasantries, since we're short on time? If what the guide says is true, in order to retrieve the Ironheart that's here, there's something we have to understand first. The entry device to the Hagios Prime Hands was destroyed a long time ago, and neither we nor the Vulgus could gain entry. But now they've just sauntered in there and connected the Ironheart to the Prime Hands. I think this whole thing has something to do with this intel on Eamon. Here. This is Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. A surveillance drone in the Hagios Corrupted Zone has tracked the movements of the high-ranking Vulgus, Eamon. We're unable to access the data remotely due to our signal being jammed. The surveillance drone needs to be retrieved for the data to be confirmed. Our Recon Squad has been scattered by a Vulgus attack. Request him backup. This communication was received by HQ a few hours ago. Not long after, a pillar of light appeared in Hagios, and Corel's fleet began to move. I think Eamon found something in the Corrupted Zone that allowed them to enter the ruins. Looks like we need to find Eamon before we can get the Ironheart. Don't you think I'm the best person for that job? With my RK ability? The other descendants can help with the mission to detach the Ironheart. No, Jaber. We all need to go together. You should focus on your capabilities, while we handle the battle missions. It would be wise to gather intel on the nearby area first. We will need the recon squad's help to establish Eamon's location. Oh, well, this suddenly turned into a cooperative mission. Uh, well, I guess it should be fine. So long as I don't have to work with loud people like Blair, or Luna. Out of my way! <laughs> this is 
Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. Zachary, we've identified an Allied six please response. Zachary, this is the descendant Jaber. We received your intel. Signal, please respond. Communications are unstable. The jamming signal is still active. We're not far away. We need to clear a path first. Second Recon Squad. Securing nearby area and joining you. Over.
stop the nearby area, so proceed with caution. Over. data the recon squad collected is sending out a signal from these coordinates. The recon data needs to be collected before it's erased. If we don't go and get it, that hard-won data will be lost. Confirming retrieval of recon data. Please continue with the operation as originally planned.
analysis of the material, we should be able to find the locations of the dispersed members. Zachary, we've broken through the Volgus blockade. We're trying to pinpoint the locations of the scattered recon squad members. Understood. Thanks for the support. I don't need thanks. Recon squad awaiting mission. HQ, the descendants have arrived. I repeat, the descendants have arrived. HQ, do you copy? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, descendant. You saved my life back there. I'm Zachary, 22nd Recon Squad member. So, do you know what the hell is going on? Comms have been down the past few days. We've had no backup. And then suddenly, Eamon appears, and now there's some strange beam of light shooting down from the sky. I thought the Volgus were launching an all-out assault and nearly crapped my pants. <laughs> what? I was right? Well, that's one thing. But the comms... Did you say you only received it a few hours ago? No way. It's been more than 48 hours since I transmitted those comms. I can't believe you've only just received the comms I sent a few days ago. Hmm. Have you detected the Volgus jamming your signals at all? Ah, so that's why backup was delayed. And why we weren't getting comms from HQ. So, when we saw reinforcements weren't coming, we had to put together a team of scouts to retrieve the surveillance drone ourselves. We lost many soldiers in the process, and the drone was damaged. I was planning to recover the drone's memory logs and take them directly to HQ. But as you know, we can use the RK warp device. What do we do now? Is the situation FUBAR? Don't worry. I designed this surveillance drone. I optimized its field performance so that you can use Volga's parts for emergency repairs. Zachary, can we get these parts nearby? Yep, we can definitely find them around here. I'll walk you through what you need to do. If we can access the information captured by the drone, we can bridge that 48-hour gap in no time. Keep at it. <laughs> the operation is simple. Shake up the enemy lines there, and find the parts needed to repair the turrets here. the enemy defense forces. I'll begin working once the commotion starts.
reinforcements have arrived. Divert their attention. The fountain parts needed for the repair. Disturbance needs to be louder. They'll blow up something. Their communications facility will be good. facility nearby. opportunity to snag the repair parts.
Since we can't just wait for HQ to send support, we'll have to find another way. Let's get the necessary parts first. There are a few that can be replaced with physical parts from Vulgus. <laughs> Go and gather the parts from their mechanical bodies. generator supplying power in that facility.
confirming generator shutdown. All you have to do now is bring those parts. Hold on. Enemy reinforcements spotted. Given the situation, it'll be better to eliminate them from the inside. I'll provide support from the outside. To repair it, all we need to do is get it to boot in safe mode. The data the drone recorded is the most important thing. Bring the parts to the outpost. All operation units, check comms. Huh. According to the data captured by the drone, Eamon's most recent destination was a naturally formed cave. It doesn't seem to have any tactical value. That being said, there's a high number of Vulgus troops going in and out of the cave. Construction materials and heavy equipment. There's a lot of high-tech equipment being brought in, too. They wouldn't be there without a reason. We need to initiate a search operation now. Could you handle the cave? I'll seal off the entrance to stop the enemy getting reinforcements. Or retreating. Zachary will cover us from enemy snipers with a scout rifle. We don't have much time. Let's move. Descendants, there's a few important things to keep in mind for this operation. And I have a personal favor to ask of you. When you get near to the cave, be on guard for the commander level Vulgus who is stationed there. He's a cyborg Vulgus called Keldir. He's part of a specialized sniper unit that uses anti-matter ammunition. I managed to damage his visual sensors last time I engaged him but he can still use his auxiliary sensors and sound functions to launch deadly attacks. Fighting him could be a challenge, even for a descendant. And as for my personal request, well, if you do run into Keldir, I'd like to be the one to finish him. I lost a lot of good men to that piece of crap Vulgus. If I'm not the one to take him out, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Zachary, emotional soldiers are no use in a war. Are you telling me not to avenge my men? No. If you're gonna do it, just make sure you're smart about it. We'll give you all the support you need, so don't be a hero about it. Whether it's the head or the heart of that Vulgus, we'll get you what you need. Understood.
It is as Lord Eamon said <laughs> that the sentence have arrived. Initiating extermination protocol. Destroy all traces of excavation. Activate all defense measures. To the entity who slays the descendant, Lord Eamon will bestow a new body prosthetic and independent persona. was also very strong. Guy, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or void energy from here. However, I am thinking of a very familiar face uh, pulse. Definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jaber confirmed there is heavy equipment and high-tech facilities there. The answers will be there. Initiate section containment. Activate high energy laser defense. The descendant has entered the kill zone. Block all access roads. Initiate attack to the siege formation. Claim the kill. Execute the descendant. Be rewarded with body prestige. Persona. Partition can be manually controlled from this side. Destroy all of them. Traps are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills. Try to control the decommissioned passageway remotely.
Descendant. Over there. The Vulgus were excavating a face shift gate here. So it really wasn't just a cave. But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of such facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to stand and watch. We must find out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the Vulgus reinforcements as well. They've started to come through the cave entrance. It seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. That's why there was a jamming signal generated across Hagios. We could use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. Check on the status of the Ironheart detachment. We're still working on the jamming signal, so our comms won't be able to reach all the way out there. Were the commander's explanations confusing again? Descendant, what's the status of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Vulgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right, so Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, 
and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm, I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Iron Heart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are our comms back up? Is this Jaber's receive signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts. Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Volgus base, cargo trucks, Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> well, sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. Come on in! Have you eaten? Damn. Jaber sent me the sit rep. Things have really hit the fan. Oh, you, you asked why I was here. I, I heard the scouts were having a difficult time of it, so I snuck in to make them a warm meal. A kind of surprise event. <laughs> but the real surprise was prepared by Corell. <laughs> God damn it! He seems, he seems like someone with no table manners. <laughs> uh, so, no change there. Anyway, the, uh, <clears throat> the Volgus passed through this way not long ago with a convoy of cargo trucks loaded up with a ton of stuff. 
When I tracked the convoy with the scouts, we found some kind of bogus forward base. It, it, it looked like it had been built in a hurry, but the security was no joke. What's worse, there was a commander-level Volgus. With heavy armor and high-powered weapons, he chased us, the bastard, and when we called for backup, there was no response. We ended up fighting for several days, while being totally surrounded, when suddenly a beam of light appeared from somewhere near the ruins. Maybe that fat-ass commander was also distracted by the beam of light because he stopped attacking and we were able to retreat. Just. By the time we managed to regroup, the only ones of us left were Dominic here and me. Had I known what would happen, I, I would have brought my friends more than just a meal. It was, it was her last supper in the end. Which is why, if you're going to that Volgus forward base now, you need to let Dominic and me tag along. They flipped the table in front of the chef, and it's time to teach them some real table manners. Also, if you want to prevent them from getting the Ironheart, you're going to need more people. Dominic will show you the way to the forward base. Let's head there and turn up the heat. Uh, why do more and more people keep getting involved? Waiting mission. Nice to meet you. My name's Dominic. I'm a scout accompanying Blair. In order to get to the Volgus forward base, you have to secure this area first, as it's our main route. There's also a number of important additional tasks to do. Blair's already familiar with this terrain. I'll fill him in on the mission separately. You'll need to follow the instructions given by the recon squad. Or what's left of it, anyway, as Zachary and I are the only ones who survived. Anyway, good luck. Oh, by the way, I heard from Zachary. His troops were hit pretty hard, but I heard you took the enemy to task and helped Zachary get his own back. Thanks for that. And Blair, your meal was also very tasty. I feel like I always owe you descendants something. When this battle is over, I'll buy you a drink in Albion on behalf of my entire team, I promise. Dominic, that's what you call a death flag right there. Soldiers are superstitious, you know that. Okay then, I'll bake you a pie or something after the war is over. Not even you can top my mother's recipe. <sighs> Keep it up, you joker. Them's fighting words right there. Just ignore the hairball, Dominic. <laughs> Thank you. 